G'day all. A few days ago I put up a video of a computer fan that I um, converted into a small generator after following um, some plans on YouTube of other blokes doing the same thing. Um, I said I was going to come up with something a little bit more elegant than just the fan with the two wires coming out the back. So this is what I've come up with. I've, uh, I've got eight LEDs in here and uh, I've put an on and off switch, mounted it onto a plinth and uh, a friend of mine in the US sent me a hundred of these aluminium fur pins. Absolutely terrific they are. A uh, little bit short for this plywood plinth. So yesterday I modified four of them and put uh, extended aluminium heads on them, uh, not aluminium heads, extended brass onto the aluminium head which allows me, I've put a, a brass washer in the bottom there so that sits in there and I can take it in and out and keeps that rock solid but again these fur pins are so much more um, an elegant solution for holding down steam accessories than the plastic headed ones that are about half the length of the um, the pin part which is just they're never long enough anyway back to this on the back I've put a wooden box I've just got a brass bolt coming out of uh, this section of the wood and just a, a brass nut unscrew that and I can get into the mess of wiring that's in there coming from the eight LEDs, the on and off switch, the rocker switch and uh, the fan. But anyway, as I'm talking, I'll turn on the Jensen 20 steam engine, get that boiler coming back up to boil and uh, I'll show you how this um, computer fan can make some power quite easily to run these eight LED lights. I'm really happy with this. It's um, pretty simple. If you uh, search on YouTube for plans to convert a computer fan into a small generator, you'll find some step-by-step -step instructions that uh, are quite easy to follow. If I can do it, and uh, I don't know a lot about electricity and electronics, and it was quite easy for me, so I'm sure anyone can do it. Uh, I just turned up this small aluminium pulley put it on the fan so it works and uh, I stippled this flywheel which worked out perfect because you don't want a lot of tension on that and on the um, watchmaker's belting sorry I was just doing something in the background then you don't want a lot of um, tension on the watchmaker's belting and that stippling is just enough to grip this really nice and stop any type of um, slippage. Okay, we'll see how this oil is coming up. Yep, it's getting in nicely. Alright. Turn the steam line on. Okay. Alright. There's the Jensen 20 going along nicely. Put the rocker switch on and on. There's some LED lights. Just looking through the back of the viewfinder on the camera. They look like they're, they're flashing LEDs. But uh, I think that's the camera picking them up. But the camera's uh, it's doing about, I think it's set at 60 frames per second, so it's definitely picking up uh, that little bit of a flicker, but in real life, those LEDs are not flickering. Off.
Okay, there we have it. A very simple DIY generator made out of a computer fan that uh, you should be able to make if you're so inclined as a very cheap and simple steam accessory for your collection. Alright, as always, appreciate you watching. Stay safe and bye for now. Bye now.